Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and here we are at the Lenovo headquarters in Beijing. I have been dying to check out the shack where Lenovo was born, and we're going to also get a little behind-the-scenes tour of the design center. So let's go and take a look. <laughs> The Beijing campus is set up in a U, so every department from R&D to sales is just a short walk away. Lenovo is currently number three in smart connected devices, number two in the PC tablet market, and if you look at just their PC sales, they're currently number one. What this means is that there's one Lenovo device sold somewhere around the world every four seconds. Next, we moved on to the design center. Last year, Lenovo won the coveted Red Dot Award, which puts them in the same league as companies like Porsche. We got to peer behind the scenes at where they got their inspiration for making their products truly unique. We even got to check out the 2005 pitch slide for the yoga. In 1984, 11 computer scientists from the Chinese Academy of the Sciences came together to form Legends, which later became Lenovo. Hands down, the highlight on the entire tour for me was seeing the small shack where it all began. They had $25,000 and a dream. I believe the saying goes, from guard shack to global giant. First they tried to import TVs but failed. A year later, they started performing quality checks on computers for new buyers. But their first break was a circuit board that allowed IBM computers to process Chinese characters. Their first consumer product was the Tan Shi, a computer designed to make it easy to connect to the internet. In 2000, it sold 1 million units, which was the best-selling computer in the history of China. From the headquarters in Beijing, we got to take the high-speed rail to their factory in Wuhan. China has the world's longest high-speed rail network with over 10,000 kilometers and has a daily ridership of over 1.3 million people. The amount of growth in industry along the track is staggering. Next up on the tour for me was the Wuhan factory. It's 200,000 square meters and capable of producing 100 million smartphones. The plant just opened last year and is currently making 18.5 million smartphones and 1.5 million tablets. Lenovo has totally bucked the trend on manufacturers going fabulous or outsourcing their production to other companies. By keeping their production in-house and doing it themselves, they maintain their own environment around innovation. So you can see behind me just a glimpse of the SMT lines that are here at the Wuhan factory. So we're going to take a closer look at how they make smartphones. So what this guy is doing is he has two PCBs, the two motherboard there, and so he's scanning them in, and then they're going to head down the line to be placed with components. So it's going to be various capacitors, resistors, it's like a mini motherboard. So after the smartphone PCB comes down this line, all of these reels there at the bottom are full of little chips and resistors and all kinds of other crazy stuff. And then up at the top there, you can see that it's moving along at a crazy speed. Here is where they heat up the PCB so that the components get baked on. So just behind me here is the assembly floor. I couldn't show you what happened in there, but basically what's going on, there's 28 people who put the phones together, put the boxes together, put the stuff inside the boxes, put the screen protectors on the phones, put headphones in to listen to make sure the phones are working. It's pretty cool. I mean like really cool. We are right in the middle of the clean room testing tour. I got my hat on. I got my booties on and I'm ready to see all the cool stuff, but I couldn't bring you guys along to see it, so I'll just describe it for you here inside their radiation testing. So the phones will go on a rotating table right over there, and then this big antenna will see how much radiation they let off. So about how every uh, all the parts are insulated, but let's just get back to the uh, drop test area. So they had a micro drop test area, so that simulates a dropping a phone like onto a table. What was awesome was, is when we were walking past, they were dropping it onto the corner of the phone. I loved seeing that because that's always where the damage comes to my phones when I drop them. But on top of that, they had a nail battery penetration test, and then they had a salt spray test for people who live on coastal cities. There was all kinds of cool stuff going on. I'm really sorry I couldn't bring you along. 
All right, guys, so that was just a brief glimpse of how Lenovo makes their magic happen here in Wuhan. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel because it really helps. I'm Nicole Scott for Mobile Geeks. Bye.